up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about the preparation for Autodesk Certified Professional Revit for Structural Design. Okay? Now, for the first topic that we are going to talk about is browser organization. So, this is just one of the topics that you will encounter might encounter during the examination. So, this is not the actual examination. So, this is just a preparation okay now if you want to get the exercise files that i'm using so you can go to their website to the autodesk website so they already uploaded it there so this is the link so i'm going to include this link on the video description so that you just need to click that and then you'll be able to go to this website of the autodesk wherein you can download free their exercise files all right so for the first topic, so let's talk about the browser organization. So hopefully, some of you are already familiar with browser organization, which uh, we can use for us to organize our project browser. But if you are not familiar, so this is the right topic for you before you take the examination. So in this exercise, um, we are going to apply a browser organization to our views here. And then I'm going to show you also how to create our Sheets browser organization. Okay, so let's do this. So what we are going to do first is, so let us open the browser organization by going to the View tab, User Interface, and then the Browser Organization. So changes the way that views are listed in the project browser. So for example, you can sort the views by discipline, pace, and view type or you can apply a filter to limit the views that is displayed or display in our project browser so aside from going to your view user interface to open up the browser organization okay you can also just simply right click the views here just right click that and then you'll be able to open the browser organization okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this browser organization and then as you can see on the Views tab, so these are the organization scheme that you can apply to your project browser. So currently, it's select here all. So it shows you all the views. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select not on Sheets. Okay. And then after that, let's check out the edit here so that you can see the settings on the filtering. As you can see, it filters by name sheet name that is equal to none and then the grouping and sorting the group by family and type and then none so this is the settings of that not on sheets browser organization so i'm going to select your okay and then let me just select your okay and then let's see what will happen on our project browser so let's select okay so as you can see it's now applied here the not on sheets organization right so what it did is, so after that one is applied, so the views remaining in our project browser can now be added to the sheets. Okay, so these are the views that you can now add to the sheets. So basically that's how this filter works or this organization works. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is after learning how to apply a browser organization on our views, I'm going to teach you how to create a browser organization for the sheets here. Okay, so how to create that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click that sheets and then I'm going to open the browser organization too. Okay, so I'm going to select that and then as you can see the sheets tab now here is selected. So a while ago, this is what we have used, the views, right? So by the way, you can play around your views here. So let's say you want to show type and discipline. So you just select OK on the views and then see what will happen. Okay, there you go. So it's now changed again. So if you expand that, so this is now how it looks like. Okay, so again, you can change that filter, browser organization. So let's say I just want not on sheets. Okay, so these are the views that I want to put inside the sheets. 
Okay, now let me create another browser organization for the sheets here. So right click, browser organization. Now here on the sheets. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a new one. So I'm going to select new because let's say I want to filter this uh, sheets. Okay, by uh, revision. Okay, so I'm going to select new. And then I'm going to type here, let's say, by, oops, by revision. Okay, so by revision, and then I select here, OK. And then here on the browser organization properties, so I'm not going to touch the filtering. I'm going to modify the grouping and sorting instead. So I'm going to group my sheets here based on the current revision and then followed by the sheet number sheet number so basically i want to show first the uh, current revision and then after that the sheet numbers okay that is what we are going to do so i'm just going to select apply and then make sure by revision is selected so i'm going to select apply and then look what will now happen to our sheets here so, okay. And there you have it. Okay. So, it's now applied by revision. So, as you can see, there's now the revision, the current revision, and then what are the views under that current revision? So, it's the S002 and S005. And then for the revision B, it's only S017. Okay. Now, as you notice, there's a question mark here for these four sheets. The reason why there's a question mark, so these are the sheets that currently have no revision applied. So if I'm going to open one of the sheet here, like the uh, S012, if I double click that, so you will notice that there's no revision here. Okay, that's why it's under the question mark. But once you have applied a revision here, it will now be placed on the correct revision here. It might be A, B, or C, or whatever. If I open the S002, double click that, so you can see that it's now under the A revision. That's why it's on the A revision. Okay, so basically that's how the browser organization works. Okay, so that's how you apply browser organization on your views. And also that's how you create and apply browser organization for your sheets. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Happy learning. Have a nice day.